Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you all about um, how to have self-discipline, how to get out of the lazy girl, lazy guy ear, okay? Um, I'm just going to tell you, you all, whatever that you want in life, you can do, okay? Let me say that first and foremost. You can do whatever you want to do. Nobody is going to stop you from doing it but you, okay? So the first thing that I'll recommend is don't make any excuses on why you can't do it, okay? I would start with setting a goal, setting a intention, and not giving yourself an excuse on why you can't do it. For some of you, it's like you may want to build up a channel, why haven't you done it, okay? Most of us have iPhones, okay? iPhones, Androids, whatever that the case may be. Y'all should have saw my quality of phone that I had in the beginning. It was absolutely terrible, but I still record it, okay? I didn't allow that to stop me, okay? Because in my reality, I said, no, well, I have access to a phone. I have access to an internet. Therefore, I can do it, okay? Because I'm only stopping me, okay? So write a list on what you want to do and do it. Okay. I also want to say, make sure that you put like, you can put little sticky notes in places that you know that you're going to be at. Okay. It could be your closet. It could be the bathroom. You can get like a little expo marker and write what you need to do just to remind yourself. Okay. You could put reminders on your phone, but if you see something or a goal or something that you want, you need to make it visible. Okay. Make it visible. Cause when you see it, you're like, Oh, I need to do it. Okay. Now let's get back to this, not making excuses. I don't care if you say, let's say that your goal is, I want to read more. I want to read more. I want to get more knowledge and wisdom. I don't care what it is. Um, maybe it's astrology. Maybe it's, um, maybe you just need more self-care books, whatever that it is. I don't care if it's five minutes a day. You make sure that you pick up that book and you read for five minutes. You can do it while you're using the bathroom. You can do it while you're taking a bath. You could do it right before you go to bed. Just because you have a goal, like you have to start somewhere. Stop thinking that it's always a race. Everything is not a race. If you read for five minutes, you did a good job. Maybe the next week you can um, aim and say, you know what? I'm going to read seven minutes this week. And then you amp it up and say, well, I'm going to read 10 minutes a day. You still did something that you normally didn't do. So give yourself credit. Give yourself a little pat on the back if you're doing something new and you normally do not do it, okay? Um, exiting out of the lazy girl air or the lazy guy air is when you realize, hey, I need to do something. I need to change, okay? If you've been having the same goal, the same, you know, uh, the same goal, the same dream year after year and nothing has changed, it's a problem. It's time that we go back to the basics, okay? Say what you're gonna do and just do it. Another thing, don't think so hard about it. Stop thinking, well, if I do this this long, then this is gonna happen or uh, just, 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 you know, just do it. It's like what Nike says, just do it. If you know that you need to, let's say that if you wanna work on working out, Stop making excuses on, you know, well, I don't go to a gym or I don't have a gym or I don't have money for the gym. You can do workouts at the house or you can take a walk on your lunch break. I don't care if the workout was five minutes. Guess what? That five minutes is going to add up. Just do it. Don't even think about it. Don't think that things have to always be in a rush. Just enjoy the process. Okay. A part of exiting out of the lazy air is understanding why you're doing it. Like, I'm going to read this book because I know that it makes me feel good. I feel like I'm getting self-confidence. I feel like that I'm really getting self-care. I feel like that I'm really elevating my mind. Me reading this book makes me feel good. So I'm going to keep reading this book, okay? Maybe it's a thing where you're always on social media. Why don't you tell yourself, well... Because they have apps. They have apps. They have it on your phone. You could give it like a certain time limit. Like, okay, I only have an hour. Instead of spending all day when I get off of work and I'm scrolling through the phone, I only give myself an hour or I only give myself 30 or 20 minutes. After that 30 minutes or 20 minutes is up, 
then I don't need to see it. Because when you're watching other people, it's like your brain is getting, your brain is getting like dopamine and like, it's like you're taking away from what you need to do. That hours and hours that you have watched somebody else, you could have been doing something for yourself. You could have bust out in 50 squats. You could have read that book that you said that you were going to read. You could have filled out some job applications. Some of y'all want a new job and you've been complaining about your old job, but you ain't doing ish to get a new job. But you want to complain. What sense does that make? Just do it. It's no other like, I know people want to do this fast track. Just do it. Just do it and just pray to God. Just thank God for the strength that you have to just keep going. Like, I'm going to keep going. If you have to listen to your affirmations to boost you up in the morning, you need to, you know, get boosted up. If you need to listen to music that sounds good to you, rather it's Christian, rather it's meditation, rather it's jazz, rather it's r and I don't know. Maybe it's a rap song that hypes you up. Whatever that you need to do, you need to listen to something that is going to motivate you, that is going to be like, you know what, I need to start my day. When you do go on social media, you need to look at inspirational things. Things that are showing you and telling you to believe in yourself. Y'all, let me give you an example. My children play sports, okay? I'm always on the go. I'm always on the go, okay? Um, you know, with the school, with the sports, you know, me having to go to work, all this other stuff. Sometimes we don't get home late. Do you think that I go stop somewhere and get something to eat? No. We're going to eat at the house. It's been times that I had to crank up dinner and it's 930. It is what it is. Okay. Because I want to make sure, of course, you know, they have theirs. But like, if I want to have something that I have for work the next day, I'm going to cook. I'm just going to cook. It's days where you're not going to feel like doing stuff. It's going to be days where you feel like, if this, I just want to lay down and eat a pint of ice cream. No. Get off your ass and move. Get off your ass and do something. You're going to look back and be like, I'm so glad that I did because it's like you're breaking the cycle. That's why I said when you get up, listen to something inspirational. I don't care what it is. Whatever motivates you, whatever makes you feel good, whatever makes you feel just um, just energized and positive and you're ready to set on the day, I'm telling you. That's why the Bible tells you to put on the armor of God because you need to put something in your spirit where you feel like that you can take over the world when you get up. I'm telling you. Because if you don't, this world will take you under. You'll worry about what's going on in social media with the celebrities and the scandals and this and that. That's not important. How is that? How is that personally? Getting in other people's business or knowing their gossip or knowing their dirt. How is that personally going to elevate your life? How is that going to get more money in your pocket? How is that going to change your reality? It's not. You worried about what Pookie doing at the job or somebody cheating on a man or they cheating on a woman or whatever that they doing. What, how is that going to help you? Mentally, spiritually, financially, anything. It's not. It's not. So don't even waste your time. Don't even waste your time. If you want to exit the lazy air, you just have to get up and do it and stop making excuses on why you can't do it, okay? If you know that, okay, let's say that maybe that you want to eat more fruits and vegetables and maybe you don't know where to start, get you some frozen vegetables, okay? I love Aldi fruit. I'm an Aldi girl. I don't care what anybody says. Their fruit, their produce, like I love their pistachios, like things like that. I don't get their meat, but I do get their uh, their produce and I do get their, their spaghetti sauces hidden too. Their spaghetti sauce, their noodles are pretty good. And I also like their pistachios. I, that is like my favorite um, nut is like a pistachio. But anyway, go to Audi or go to Publix or wherever you go. Well, I don't you know, buy one, get one free. But anyway... I love all these produce because it just tastes good to me. Start with just, you know, instead of you grabbing your uh, potato chips, get you some grapes. Instead of you, you know, snacking on a sticker, a sticker, a snicker, get you some nuts. 
Um, instead of you, you know, going to Panda Express, getting orange chicken and double fried rice and lo mein and beef and broccoli or whatever you get, get you some frozen vegetables. Maybe get you some little um, sauce that you can put over your vegetables. Get you some um, meat to put in it and get like just a little bit of rice because you don't need a lot of rice, just a little bit of rice. Just do it. If you know that you're not a book person, okay, and you want to read more and you want to start, listen to a freaking audio book. They have it right here on YouTube. Type in what book and they will read it to you. Read it, you know, listen to it while you're up washing your face or putting on your makeup or whatever that you're doing to get ready for the day. While you're making your coffee. Y'all, this is, y'all, y'all know this is my favorite and don't talk about me because it is a little coffee thing right here, but it's like my favorite cup, but anyway. It's one up, but anyway, that's how you exit the lazy air. You just do it. You just do what you say that you're gonna do, and you don't let anything stop you. I'm tired, okay, but I was tired and I got up and I went to work anyway. I was tired and I went and talked on the phone to somebody, knowing that I'm tired anyway. So why don't you do something for yourself? You're only gonna get what you pour into yourself. Everything isn't gonna be easy. Everything isn't going to be, you know, easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. It's not. You're going to have some days where you're just like, I'm so tired of this ish. I don't know what to do, but you're going to do it anyway. And then you're going to look back and you're going to be like, look how I changed. Look how I got the job I wanted or look how I got the career that I wanted. Look at how, you know, I'm looking in the mirror. Look at how I manifested this relationship. Look how I gained all this wisdom. I don't even... I don't even feel the need to even entertain bull crap anymore. I don't feel the need to entertain the drama. I don't have any of that. Look at me now. It's like you're going to elevate and look back at yourself and be like, I am so happy that I did it. And that's how you exit out of the air. All right, that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the message. Let me know what's going on with you in the comment section below. Click the uh, like button. Though. I love you all until next time. Bye.